All right, in today's video, I'm going to talk about masking. And masking is awesome because what it'll do is it'll take your real data. If you give a copy to your devs or if you give a copy to your vendors, and then it will replace real PII and confidential information with a bunch of fake values. So the first thing that we're going to do here is perform a backup and restore. So let's say that 2014 is production and we are restoring to our development 2017 instance. Let's execute this. I did a with replace because I've already practiced this a couple times and the database already exists on 2017. So now that the backup and restore has been performed, we're going to create the masking configuration file. I'm gonna go ahead and execute this and then tell you what it is doing. All right, so what it'll do is it'll go to 2014 instance, that's your prod instance, right? And it'll go to the AdventureWorks 2014 database. It will evaluate all of the tables within that database and then create a config for that and output it to your temp drive. And then what I did was I love dash out variable. Out variable allows it to both display on the screen and assign it to a variable as well. In this case, it's dollar sign file. So let's go ahead and invoke or open the item that we just created. All right, and I'm just gonna do some formatting real quick. All right. So for those of you who are familiar with AdventureWorks, you may recognize these names, right? So you have the AW build version, the database log, the error log. And then if we keep scrolling down, we'll eventually come across the employees table. So You'll notice, okay, so here's the employee table and this is the output for it and we'll go through it, right? So the name is the name of the column and then the column type is the data type of the column. A character string is something that we'll be covering in our next, in like within the next five minutes. A minimum value, or this is like the length of it. A max value, the masking type, the subtype, which is determined primarily by the config file, but there's there may need to be different times where you have to figure that out yourself. And if you go to dbatools.io slash mask, I actually talk about how you can figure out which values to put there. Deterministic, which is something that Sander is going to go over uh, in a blog post soon, and then if it is nullable or not. So let's take a look at the login ID. The login ID, and my apologies that uh, here's the column type which is similar to the national id but in this case it noticed that the masking type it's based off of the column name is actually an internet username and what was interesting about adventureworks said first we executed the command you know against like a little test table and everything worked but with adventureworks there were a lot of constraints and that was something that we had to work through for instance so Sorry, I keep losing my spot. This is driving me crazy. So this is the whole gigantic file and that's why I've been having problems with it because it's just such a large file. And what you're gonna wanna do is it's super unlikely that you'll want to mask every single column in every table. You're just gonna want to mask what is confidential. So in this case, I've taken this big template and removed what wasn't necessary. It is, this is just for demonstration purposes. There's a lot more that is potentially confidential in AdventureWorks, but let's go ahead and see the changes that I made. So national ID number stays the same and login ID stays the same, but with job title, I changed the masking type to name and job type. And this is something that I figured out on the blog. Next for the birth date, you can't have a 16 year old working at AdventureWorks. So that had to be constrained as well. In addition, the marital status, the constraint there was that it only allowed an S or an M. So we restricted the character string that uh, you're able to use. Same goes for gender. And the salary flag I left in just to talk about user defined data types. Whenever we see this and there's a max value of one, then we just assume that it's a uh, Boolean, which I don't know how to pronounce. Next, vacation hours were also constrained, and this may not be something that you actually have to mask, but I left it in there as an example. Same goes for sick leave hours and so on. 
Now, for the employee department history, this one was interesting because it basically said that the end date can't come before the start date, which makes sense. So what I did was I set the start date. Its max value is January 1st, 2018. And then end date's minimum value is January 2nd, 2018. So those will never conflict. Now, what we're going to do is take this configuration file and use it here. So we're going to use the invoker against the 2017 development instance, and we're going to specify the file path. And then the confirmation, uh, by default, it'll say, do you want to modify all of these columns in this table, in this database, on this server? A lot of times I will leave uh, the confirmation off. Or I'll even do a what if the first time around, but then once I'm comfortable and confident, especially if it's in a scheduled task, then you're going to want to set that uh, dash confirm to colon dollar sign false. So let's go ahead and execute this. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the data on 2014 and 2017. So here's 2014. I'm just going to execute it again. Uh, so you can see that this was the data in 2014. And if you take, we're going to copy and paste this exact query. If you take this and you run it against our development box 2017, you can see that all of the data has been masked. So this is really, really cool. We're really excited to work on this with you. If you have any issues, please come to dbatools.io slash issues, file a bug report or a feature request. As a matter of fact, somebody filed a feature request or actually asked for it on the blog uh, for the deterministic changes. And Sander added that within 24 hours. So if you need anything, just let us know. And thank you for joining me today.